Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be going through a lot more outputs and we're going to assess what seems vulnerable and what doesn't and really just what to do with all of the information that Limpis feeds us. This machine is from a box called Internal on TriHackMe, so I definitely suggest you check it out after the video. But for now, please enjoy the video and I really hope you learn something new. I'll keep this in mind as well. I think there might be a possible public exploit or a kernel exploit, but kernel exploits are kind of like the last resort, in my opinion. Um, because boxes can get old and therefore like new public exploits can root the machine, but that doesn't mean that it's the intended path, right? So I would say it's typically good practice to do kernel exploits as a very uh, last resort. We see that there is a user called Aubriana, by the way. And we are currently WW data. I don't care too, too much, but maybe we have to access her in some way. As you can see, these tools create so much output. That's why you kind of like have to parse through the interesting stuff first. So yeah, there we go. This is the Conatic file that we checked earlier that we have already looked at. None of this is interesting, I think. SQL user. What is this? PGP files? No. Searching uncommon password files. <laughs> hmm. Don't think so. <laughs> we have team max running. All right, so this is SUID binaries. Uh, so far, all of this looks completely normal. We can keep in mind who the version. None of this so far looks too interesting. And of course, if you're on Sharon, then you can always go to GTF opens, right? And just search up each binary one by one. We won't be doing that. It takes too much time. And I have a decent memory for this type of stuff. So the PKXAC and sudo is handy interesting, but not very interesting. I want to go through all of it. <laughs> Okay, so all of this is quite normal. <laughs> Capabilities. We have this capability right here. Capability, let's say. Basic dorking like this is very important. So we can see this one, but it's talk about general privilege escalation. It also mentions it. Ra, new servant ping. Yeah, I don't think this, this is gonna lead to anything, to be honest. So, okay, so you can with 
if you have sep with the skip bella day then you can do some stuff there okay so this person has some obviously an ultimate capability so I'm pretty sure this one was unsure about but yeah, this one does not look exploitable at all. I didn't think so, but I just wanted to double check this one. Uh, so far, really not a lot. This is PHP my admin, though. We already have access to... Uh, yeah, and it's running as WW data. There's no point in this. Huh? Pretty sure there's no point in it, at least. But let me just note it down, because why not? So. Probably not, but out of here. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here, which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video. But once you've completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course, and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle, where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.